Welcome to this quick guide to entering your antibiotic usage data into the electronic medicine book on EMB. The video runs for less than five minutes and will take you through the simple steps for submitting an antibiotic return. Before you start, you'll need details of all of your antibiotic usage, whether injectable, in water or in feed. It's important to note that if you're looking to enter your in-feed data, you will need to extract the quantity of antibiotic product in the feed. More on this in the next video. You'll also need to know the number of pigs that left your unit during the time period covered and how many sows and boars were present at the end of the period. So, if you have all of these things in place, we're ready to start. You can find a link to EMB by clicking the producer icon, corporate or agent icons. You can set up an agent if you want someone else to enter your data for you, for example your vet, but in this example we will use the producer icon. You can find the eMedicine book link on the bottom right hand corner of this page. Selecting the EMB link takes you to the EMB website and logs you in using your PickHub login details. If this is your first visit you'll be asked to agree to the T's and C's, otherwise you'll just need to select continue. All of the holdings you can access are listed here. In this example, all the holdings are test sites. If this is your first visit, check that all of the holdings you expect to see are listed. You can see what level of access you have for a given holding. It will either be view only or view and enter. You cannot enter data if you have view only access. Contact HDB Pork if changes are needed. If this is your first visit, the date last entered box will be coloured pink for all of your holdings, signifying that no data has yet been entered. In this example, we will enter data for Perky Pink Pigs 3. This page is the dashboard for the chosen holding. It displays the unit details, providing the opportunity to check that you're entering data against the correct unit. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, there is a link to an FAQ and the pig contact form in help and support. Select clicked here to start entering data. You can choose any of the three methods listed here. In this example, we'll be using the simple antibiotic data entry. A pop-up window asks you to confirm. And a further window pops up to ask for the current time period in which the data is to be entered. It defaults to the current three month period. It's important to note that if you select the default, you will not be able to enter data from previous periods. For data that precedes the current period, you will need to select a custom period. I'm going to choose the whole of 2015, choosing custom period entering 2015, a duration of 12 months, and clicking on select time period will take me to the next page. All antibiotic treatments must be entered regardless of the route of administration. Select add total amount of antibiotic used. In the pop-up window, you can choose to enter the antibiotic or the feed in stock. Feed must have been added to stock and this will be dealt with by a separate video. Alternatively, you can choose to enter the total quantity of antibiotic product contained in the feed. Choose the antibiotic product from the drop-down list. We will choose Amoxifal 500 mg per gram oral powder. For age group, if you don't have this information, choose the age group in the drop down list which best matches your average age group for the holding. In this example, we'll select finishers. From the total quantity used drop down box, choose the appropriate unit of measure, in this case grams. Enter the total units used, in this case 100 grams. Choose the primary reason for treatment from the drop down box. If you don't have this information, choose ill. However, in this case, we will select coughing and select save. All antibiotics used should be entered in the same way. Note that you can delete the draft submission at any point up to submission. Once you are happy that all the data has been accurately entered, select submit antibiotic return from the top right hand side of the screen. In the pop-up window, select the holding type that best suits your holding, in our case, finishers. Enter the number of sows and boars present, because this is a finishing farm, we're going to enter zero. Enter the number of slaughter pigs that have left the holding, in this case, 100. Enter the number of wieners that have been moved off the holding, in this case, zero. Select submit return 
and you should receive a confirmation message. Also, graphs showing antibiotic usage trends are displayed below. More detail can be found by selecting holding antibiotic usage report on the right hand side of the page. If you wish to unsubmit your return, you can do so within 24 hours. To do this, select Submission History, then select the entry you want to unsubmit and choose Undo Submission from the right hand side. Select Edit from the pop up window. You can then delete the draft submission if you wish. After the 24 hour period, you will need to contact HDB Pork to submit for you. Thank you for listening.